you love to explore creepy, abandoned places, then you obviously don't expect to find anything calm and soothing. It just doesn't happen that way, for the most part. Creepy places are gonna have creepy contents, however some creepier than the rest. And of course, that's what our video is about today. From a creepy fetish to someone obsessed with birthdays, here are the creepiest things found by urban explorers. An abandoned Nazi weapons bunker. There are hundreds of miles of tunnels beneath the streets of Germany, most of which saw use in World War II for various nefarious missions. While many of these tunnels have been fully explored, some still hold surprises that whet the appetite of urban explorers. One such urban explorer discovered what is believed to be a Nazi weapons testing bunker while investigating a tunnel system in Germany. Warren Tepper made the discovery while investigating miles of underground tunnels under Duisburg in the western part of the country. After climbing through one of the walls, he unearthed the bunker and found 4-inch bullet holes in metal and bulletproof glass inside. He believes that the bunker was used by Nazis as shelter during Allied forces bombardment runs, and also as a safe place to store ammunition. It may have also been a place to develop new and more powerful ammunition, due to the presence of a firing range. It's crazy to think that the millions of bullets used to kill millions of men were developed right there, though. A tub of brains. Urban explorers pretty much already have a general idea of what they're going to find in there. Signs of decay, maybe a personal item or two from previous owners, probably even canned food unopened for a number of years, are pretty much staples of every abandoned house or building. But I bet that you wouldn't be expecting this next entry in our list. Not in a million years. One anonymous poster uploaded this photo of a bathtub full of brains in the WTF Reddit forum. He didn't explain much, not that he needed to, as it's pretty clear what we're supposed to notice here. But he didn't provide details like the wares and the wins. Since this is Reddit though, of course a lot of unsubstantiated stories about the photo were posted. One of them says that the bathtub of brains was found in an old abandoned hospital. The story further states that the police were even notified of this gruesome discovery. Whether or not any of that is true, most Reddit users seem to agree on one thing. That the brains are indeed real, and it takes a sick mind to be able to chuck them all in a tub and be forgotten. Hundreds of Naked Dolls Abandoned petting zoos offer a different kind of thrill to urban explorers, mostly because it's quite unpredictable what you're going to find there. Probably the worst you could be would be the rotting remains of sheep, goats, and chickens, but fortunately no such things were found by this intrepid urban explorer responsible for this creepy photo you're about to see. Yes, those are dolls. And naked dolls at that. It looks like there are hundreds of them, if not thousands inside that old barn. But before you jump into any conclusions, there actually is a perfectly reasonable explanation for the dolls being there. No, 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 I'm being serious right now. It's possible that the owners of the petting zoo ordered a gazillion of these dolls to sell in their gift shop, but never expected to close down so soon after. That's a perfectly plausible theory, albeit a little bit boring. I prefer to believe that this is the work of a deranged doll collector hell-bent on getting his hands on every single one of these generic-looking dolls to be part of his twisted collection. It might be highly unlikely, but honestly, it could happen. And it makes a pretty decent story. Murder TVs an urban explorer was, what else, exploring a tiny abandoned house in rural Ontario. It was one small house, which is why it was weird that it had four bedrooms and, get this, five beds. It looked like the dilapidated walls were only being held up by a prayer, and the thin wallpaper was somehow desperately still clinging onto them. Despite looking like it was about to collapse in on itself, the house was still full of furniture, and it even still had photos on the dressers and hanging on the walls. Even more surprisingly though, it still had running electricity. For all intents and purposes, it looked like the inhabitants of the house just up and abandoned it. It just kind of looked like they left everything they owned behind, even the empty beer bottles on the dining table. Though if that wasn't creepy enough, let me tell you about the old TVs in the house. There were three of them? Not really an uncommon sight these days, but that isn't the weird part. What's creepy is the fact that two of them had bullet holes on them. I mean, I've heard of getting angry when your team loses in sports, but I mean, that's just a little ridiculous. Old Biology Experiments Ask any urban explorer, abandoned schools are some of the best places to explore. It's probably because we share an affinity towards these places, a place where a lot of our childhood memories take place. But then again, we also have a lot of not-so-fond memories as well. Remember the times when kids were forced to kill and dissect a frog in biology class? Yeah, not one of my fondest memories, I gotta say. You would think that morbid science experiments like these would be probably disposed of at the end of the school year, or when the school ultimately shuts down. But in this abandoned high school, it seems the teachers there thought it would be fun to freak out all urban explorers that would come visit. 
The school's science laboratory was filled with everything that you would expect. Old science experiments, broken beakers and test tubes, dead butterflies and moths stuck onto foam boards with pins, you know, the usual stuff. And then you see this. Yes, a mummified frog on a pedestal. Not inside a jar swimming in formaldehyde like you would expect it to be, but on a pedestal for all the world to see. If this isn't creepy, then I don't know what is. A shark in a tank. In this urban exploration video, a man was inside an abandoned wildlife theme park somewhere in the outskirts of Victoria. The park was shut down back in 2012 and is currently overrun by squatters. Despite the dangers, the man still bravely explored every inch of the property, documenting every single second on the video. He then uploaded this video on YouTube and has now garnered more than 15 million views. The video started quite typically of videos of this kind, showing the sad state of abandonment and general disrepair of the place. However, everything changed as he entered one of the abandoned buildings in the theme park. Inside the old building, he found everything that one might expect. Remnants of things found at the theme park, including an ice cream stand. But then on one side of the room, he noticed something huge. Inside a very large glass tank was the unmistakable silhouette of a shark. As he decided to move closer, the massive great white shark loomed into view, suspended in formaldehyde, its menacing jaws permanently open, as if it was about to take a bite out of you at the first moment. Apparently, this shark was caught dead in a fisherman's net and was taken to the theme park to be an attraction for public display. Why it was left abandoned there and not donated to a museum or research facility, I don't know. As far as I know, it's still there to scare the living daylights out of any urban explorer who isn't aware of it. A Pentagram of Fire Extinguishers This is a pentagram, but not just any ordinary kind of pentagram. Oh no, those things are boring. This pentagram was made using empty fire extinguishers. I use fire extinguishers? Your guess is as good as mine. Could it be part of some sort of sinister satanic ritual used to conjure up demons in Hellspawn? Eh, played enough doom, so maybe. Though where it was found kinda makes sense. Built in 1923, the West Park Hospital was a psychiatric facility located in Surrey, England. It was one of five psychiatric hospitals built in the area known as the Epsom Cluster. The hospital eventually became run down, and by 2003, most of the buildings were closed and the site was abandoned. This photo was taken by an urban explorer in the attic of the hospital. Theories of bound as to who actually built the pentagram range from devil worshippers to pagan cults or even bored pranksters who had a lot of time on their hands. But who do you think could have done such a thing? Your thoughts in the comments, please. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's best pick was sent to us by a subscriber, and it shows a room full of snakes. While I've come across stories of urban explorers finding a snake or two, there isn't one incident I could find about a room full of them. So the photo can be one of a few things. Most likely a snake breeding or research facility, but certainly not an abandoned building. However, one urban explorer did come across a room full of deadly vipers. Fortunately though, all of those were dead. Find out where next with number two! Snakes in Jars the Japan Snake Center in Gunma Prefecture, Japan, is still very much open and can be visited by tourists, but it's no longer quite as popular as it was when it first opened. In 1968, it's quite a unique attraction, housing 200 plus species of snakes from all over the world. However, inside the property is an abandoned shack, which from the looks of it hasn't been used in decades. It was inside this shack where an urban explorer found something definitely creepy. From its contents, it looks like the place was used as a snake laboratory of some sort. Hundreds of dead snakes can be found stuffed in jars which have been collecting decades worth of dust. This place really does look like the lab of a mad scientist and is creepy enough if you visit by day. Imagine your terror if you accidentally come across this place at night. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Happy Birthday, Eric. This story has been on the internet for many years, so chances are you've probably heard of it by now. But even if you already have, it doesn't make the story any less creepy. Especially to people named Eric like me. The story goes that Reddit user Never Enough Muppets entered an old abandoned mansion from the 60s in Suffolk County, Long Island. In one room, he found a pile of mail dated around August 1995, leading him to believe that this was probably when it was fully abandoned. He also found a room full of toys. Not old or broken toys as you'd expect, but rather looked brand new. Some of them even looked like they were played with recently. He then went upstairs, and in one of the bedrooms there, he found hundreds of birthday cards, all wishing a happy birthday to a guy named Eric. 
All of the cards looked like they were written by the same person. Still not enough to spook our explorer, he decided to climb up another floor. But that's when he heard a sound coming from one of the bedrooms. Then he saw a pair of very dirty hands appear out of the doorway. A man began to drag himself into the hall, making a guttural groaning sound as he pulled himself closer. Needless to say, the explorer ran out of there for his very life. If this story is true, it's definitely one of the more terrifying true stories I've heard in a long time. Have you ever come across anything creepy while exploring places? Well, let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure you check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.